Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another Jurassic World review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Roar Attack Oranosaurus. And I'm really glad to have one of these. Um, ever since I saw Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous and I saw these on screen, I thought, yep, yeah, gonna need one of them. I, I do like a duck-billed dinosaur. Although, to be fair, I do like a dinosaur, so, you know. Not very surprising that I bought this one, but it is a new sculpt, so yeah, I can justify getting it. Uh, so the packaging, as you can see, it is the Camp Cretaceous packaging where we've got Toro and Darius down there in the left hand corner. Uh, you get a general idea of what she does here. It's the, the new feature. On this side, we've got Ben and Sammy and Blue. On this side, Camp Cretaceous. And round the back, we have a product shot of what the figure can do. And down at the bottom, we've got a cross cell. I have just reviewed Chaos. And I, I'm debating on this Allosaurus because I do have an Allosaurus, but this one is really nicely painted. So you may see a review for this in the future. Right, uh, so that's it for the packaging. I am going to have to stop the video because the tail is just tucked away in there and I need to get it out of the plastic, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the Aranosaurus out of her box. And when you get this figure, you will have to attach the tail because it is packaged separately. But it's fairly straightforward. As you can see, there is a big hole in the bun area, and there is a big tab here. And this one does have a specific way to go up. I mean, it's fairly easy. You just need to put it in the same side as the, the, the sail is pointing upwards. But just to make sure, there is a little triangle just down here, and that's going to correspond with the indent just in here. So I'm just going to line it up and you can hear it click and it is done so yes there you go there's the Aranosaurus all uh, all assembled and she she does look really nice yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this one I think she looks good so we'll come to the raw attack feature in a minute but let's have a closer look at the face and Mattel have been doing some sterling work on face sculpts for these dinosaurs at the minute, and this one is no exception. Uh, it is part of the duck-billed dinosaur family, so um, you do get the uh, well, the, the, the duck-bill. You see just underneath there, you can see the rest of the mouth. Very nice sculpt work, and it's well painted also. You can see there's a nice red eye with a, a little a little green pupil this time and I do like how this sort of bluey green color fades into the darker green of the plastic that's very nicely done and the sculpt work continues down the neck and as I said this is a brand new dinosaur from Mattel so I think they've done a very good job it looks really really good uh, my only problem with it is the, the button that hangs out here, but the, it's not on the other side, so you can just turn it around the other way. So it's not a, it's not a huge issue. And you can see that sculpt work and the paint just going down. Uh, this is one of those ones where they have actually just stopped painting it. It's got to the tail and they've gone, yeah, no, I've had enough now. <laughs> I've stopped. Um, I mean, I, I get it. It's It's fine. It's not a huge issue. And you can see down the body there, there's a bit more paint on the underside. You can see that there. You can see the big speaker where the sound's going to come from. Sadly, again, there is no paint on any of the toe claws. Um, I would like that. I would like some paint on there. It's not, yeah, you know, it's something I can do myself. But for, you know, it just would be nice. And if you would like to scan it, here is the Jurassic World Facts app sticker. Let's see if I can focus that in. There you go. All done. Good. So, yeah, articulation for this girl is uh, is all right. Yeah, um, you can. You don't want to move the neck because that's part of the 
that's part of the feature but you can move the head it is on a ball joint so you can get some you get some movement out of that which is pretty good the front legs are on a rotational joint and a hinge and you can rotate the rear legs and they do have that in and out motion and as you saw we can move the tail as that is also on a ball joint so yeah it's not bad it is not bad uh, the only trouble with the articulation with these dinosaurs is that they, they are pretty much posed so you can't really move them too much I mean it's alright if you're just playing around with them but if you want to pose them differently on your shelf there's not really much you can do because they're they're in a pose so but Yes, there we go, that's got it. All right, so we've had a look at those. Let's have a look at the uh, raw attack feature. And basically what's happening here is you're gonna slide this button over and for each click, you are gonna get a different sound and the head will move. So. So there you go, and you can do it more quickly if you want to. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun feature. Um, I will just flip around to the other side so I can show that yeah, there is in fact no button on this side. So if you want to just display this figure, then you can absolutely do it this way around and it makes for a much cleaner display option. So yeah, uh, I got this one from Home Buggins. It was just marginally cheaper than Smith's and um, so on and so forth. You may be able to get this one at a cheaper price coming up for Christmas. Um, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss out on this one because it was one of the ones that I really did want to get. And I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm okay paying the, the price I paid for it because I think it's a nice one. It's a new sculpt. I don't have one in my collection. So yeah, I'm happy to have this. So that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.